Hello, this is Dr. Laverne Rosso, and a student has volunteered to let us record the evaluation of her portfolio. This will be a quick run through, so you won't get every detail, but you will get the general idea. Hang on. If you wish. Let's take out the table of contents while we're here. Looks like you've got a very detailed table of contents. The reason we took it out is so that we can refer to it as we go along. Okay, so first we're looking at the front cover to see if it has the answers to the questions for the five don't lose an age. Another reason for the portfolio is, is so that you can observe your change over time. Persona poem collection. Now normally we would expect to see this typed. That makes it easy when you are ready to make the big table of contents because you can just copy it and paste it. It's not mandatory, it just makes it easier. And, and this should also say what day and date um, the exchange of persona poems occur. Right, here they are. Quite a variety of them too. That's pretty sh fancy schmancy, isn't it? Oh, Saul Valdez. <laughs> All right, I didn't know that. Our photographer is also a graphic artist. personal speller dictionary to become more intelligent it's a fact that the more you read assuming that you're reading quality literature um, the higher your IQ can become you can actually raise your IQ score by reading the reason for having a personal speller dictionary is to document your the words that you find while you're reading, and to have a record of words that you frequently misspell, and uh, to make an easy, quick reference. Enter the words that you find in your reading as you go along, hopefully. Has your parts of speech in the back. Wow! Did you count it up? Do you know how many homonyms you've got? Homonyms, you suddenly realize, oh man, I've been using the wrong booze, or the, or the wrong sale, or the wrong hair. <laughs> okay, research articles for your... And this is your mini table of contents? Yeah. And is this copied into... Search articles folder, and it's got a mini table of contents. And you've got your articles in here. How many drafts do you have? So you had the option of taking a four minus, and you opted not to do that. What you might have done was indicated the number of drafts. Okay. Or and my research abstract. And your research abstract. So one, two, three, final. So you've got three abstracts. Okay. And you have presented that to the class already? Yes. She needed many contents, very good. You gave her written feedback there. You told her to triple space, her summary sentence. So you gave her detailed feedback. 
These, these uh, rubrics are a little different every semester because each class designs their own. Self-selected well, proposals. I did. Oh, okay. Two drafts. Okay, and your self-selected presentation documentation. Oh, you wrote it up. Yeah. So, so you will have more documentation on your presentation. So, <coughs> yes. So we'll put. But you wrote up a report. Mm -hmm. Then your self-selected presentation love notes, and you have a mini table of contents. And again, it's handwritten. Mm -hmm. And did you type it onto here? Yes. We have that on the rubric, or that's just he part of the research. You added it in. Yeah. He says see blue spiral notebook, and does it say that on here too? I think so. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It just says to go here, and then it explains it. Okay. So rather than having someone open this up and look for it, you, if you have that on your big table of contents, yes. that would be yes. notebook identified with your five W's and H. Take such neat notes. Oh, super. Okay, that's an easy one. Essay collection. Okay. Writing center receipts. Mm -hmm. What would you say was the most useful thing that happened during your time in the writing center? What was that about? I research paper connections. Like I brought in, I brought it in on my computer. Oh, you had it. You had your laptop, yeah. and so it says done via laptop. Can we get a close-up shot of what a writing center? Reading log one. So it says. So we've got who, what, reading log number one. You've got your contents pages. Good. Okay, so you've identified your citation information going down the page, and then you have your bibliographic entry written according to MLA formats. Good. Brainstorm list. Now you gave yourself very little room to start a brainstorm list. So we'd expect to see that all on one page. Okay. Triple space means you, you write on a line and skip two. Okay. Write on a line and skip two. And that gives you room to make corrections between the lines. I don't see any editing going on between the lines. After you've written your summary sentence, you go back to your brainstorm list and you check off the points of information yeah. that you used in the sentence. And then you look at what you didn't use. You're nodding your head. Did you do that in some of the others? In, yeah, I, in, I forgot which one you did. Okay. I, I didn't know we had to check it off. You have to check it off because then you go back and you see what you didn't use. And you say, hmm, I left out birthday. Was that important? Uh, yes. And so then that's why you've got the triple spacing so you can go back and write between the lines. I'll do that. All right. Critical connection. Are you comfortable reading that? Or it's it's personal and yeah, you'd rather not. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, that's okay. We won't grade that right now then, because that's not the purpose of this process. Um, did you learn anything from the process of doing the reading log? Do you not? I think my memory. Your memory. Okay. This is for audiology, like my final one. Okay. And these two. I don't remember what they were for, but you could either get one or the other. I see. So you just took them both and put them on your business card. All right. So you want to know what those words are um, for your own information. And then you have the word audiologist, which is good because not everybody's going to know what all those letters stand for. So you're going to be a many-lettered woman. Okay, so it's looking good. You've got a lot of, a lot of clear information, but it's not cluttered. Was there anything you discovered in the process of doing your business card? Well, the the degree and this is just like different hand up. Okay, this is beautifully organized, a clearly done table of content. You made handwritten corrections on it, which is good. Um, you can't keep reprinting it every time you add one little thing. Follows the rubric, has everything that it was supposed to have. This would be a four portfolio. I'm going to put a four. Do you have any questions or is there anything you want to say? Was that what you were expecting? I was hoping for that. You were hoping for that. Okay. All right. Well, see, wasn't that easy? If you're organized, this goes very quickly and very smoothly. Thank you.